Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial of mine and there this tutorial is actually uh, you can found it on many places on the net uh, on YouTube even and I make it just for because uh, I wanted to show you uh, how you do it so um, what actually I'm talking about is uh, repairing lost passwords on your computer uh, first of all um, this tutorial is not for any other use than that uh, you're probably gonna do it on your friend's computer <laughs> um, but I suggest you not if you you know honor their privacy um, but you can actually do it on any computer and um, let's start okay so first of all uh, you need to lost some passwords and in most cases it's happened when you use this uh, keep me logged in uh, features that probably uh, you can find it in on any site that you need to log in uh, it's uh, common feature and uh, many people use it and with time they forget the passwords only because of this feature so how you actually can uh, repair your uh, your password first of all we will go over uh, Google okay and we 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 okay Google uh, sorry for my layout uh, layout uh, of Google it's in Hebrew so um, don't worry just follow my steps and write down oxide.it and do a search for it and then you get this oxide IT can enable okay so click on that and you will get to their this main page which is um, allow you download uh, this uh, application uh, the first version is for uh, 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 Windows 95, 8 or whatever you uh, know those uh, versions and there is uh, the newer version for uh, XP's, uh, Windows XP NT2000 and it's working also for Windows 7 um, you don't need to pay for it it's only seven uh, megabytes and that's it download it and install it so when you install it there is two features that are installed so don't worry about it uh, just make sure you install both of them uh, for not causing any um, bug issues about the application um, and the second thing is uh, before you start install it uh, you better uh, check your firewall is off and uh, also your antivirus uh, check for is uh, that is uh, disabled and um, you better do it even before you start download it because uh, this application is using uh, very you know uh, it's, it's it's not that protected to uh, it's overpassing your uh, information on your computer and because uh, it's doing that you probably will get some warning uh, from your antivirus and it will ask you if to delete this application uh, believe me it won't do anything harm to your computer you just uh, need to approve uh, uh, this application to make it run um, let's keep uh, on this tutorial okay so first of all I will write down over here um, any kind of uh, fake email okay fake email dot no strudel whatever you call it um, hotmail dot com and oh sorry it's sometimes write in Hebrew um, hotmail.com and 
let's say my password will be um, number one okay and first of all I will tick keep me logged in and I will try to log in and sure this is a fake email address and fake password so it won't log in but this is just for the example do you want Internet Explorer to remember the password for Facebook so I will click on yes and this is what important it's not only the keep me logged in it's important that you uh, at the past you click on keep me keep my my passwords and username uh, when uh, Explorer ask you that so now we will go to the application after after you installed it this is the icon for uh, entering this application after you uh, open it you will get this page it will look like this and make sure you are under the decoders um, tab and first of all you will click on this catch password click once on the white page and then plus so first of all you already can see that this um, fake email I entered okay fake email hotmail.com password number one uh, it's it's shown here and it's also showing in which um, web I used this username and password so this is uh, very amazing stuff okay um, I also want to say that uh, even though I made this example right now it does recover um, passwords even if uh, can enable as an event uh, installed before so it's actually digging on your files on your uh, PC on your Windows files and uh, pull this information from there um, let's try another one okay so just for you to believe me um, let's try to say to enter another fake email um, uh, let's do Facebook fake okay and and then uh, Gmail okay dot and let's write here uh, kamikaze okay and login again Windows Ex Explorer will ask you if you want to remember this password and you have to click on yes so let's go over can enable and plus it again this catch and again you can see that the password is shown here and also the username and the site we try to log in with the, those uh, passwords and uh, username so that's about it uh, this application knows many things to do and decoding many sort of uh, things but uh, if you want to know more just google it or uh, do a search on YouTube to learn more stuff about this application uh, it's totally free uh, you really don't have to worry about any other thing like uh, I don't know like uh, hacking to your computer it's, it, it won't allow those things to happen to you um, please don't try this on other uh, computers of your friends don't don't uh, disrespect uh, their privacy um, it's only for you only self-use and uh, that's that's about it um, that's it so have a nice day hope you learn something and we'll see you in uh, another tutorial good day bye